Hey guys, my name is Jackboy67. Today I'm bringing you another video. Now, this is kind of dumb, I should say, but this is my f this is my five subscriber special. Yay! I just want to get up to a hundred, but or fifty. So anyway, I'm I'm gonna go this up by five. So every time when I hit you know, like ten, fifteen, twenty subscribers, you know, then I'll make a say I'll make a special video. <laughs> But and by that and and whoever is the twenty and who's ever the um the subscriber that the subscribe on the fifth mark gets um gets um gets mentioned. Now if you don't want to be mentioned, then just tell me then I won't. But today this video is about is about a lovely subscriber by the name of Bruce D Dawson. Now thank you for subscribing to my channel. And thank you for leaving me those that interesting comment on that um on my on my half life theory video. Now now I just wanna bring you some concerns. Yes. But we don't know if Gordon Freeman was from Seattle, that's where he was created, but not where. But the first half life game was in Black Mesa, New Mexico. Cause it clearly says it in the intro and stuff like that. Um, you know what? I'll just say that, uh, I'll just bring back that video back to this video. Why can't I keep my hair straight? So anyway, so so Half Life Two is is in Russia. Yes, I did the research and on an, on an official Valve Valve form by Valve, they said that Half Life Two was made in a post-Soviet harbor city. In Russia, and you can clearly tell by all the signs and all the writing. Even um um even 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 on the um well um um e in Half Life Two Episode Two um they they clearly had they clearly had to put some signs on the over over the Russian words because they had because they have no idea how to speak Russian. <laughs> See now, see now, but this is something we can kind of tell who was who was from America, and we can kind of tell who was really from Russia. Um. Uh, but we have no idea how they got there in the first place. What did the Gmail um teleported them there? Did they go by the Borealis? Who knows? Well, anyway. Okay. Let's get it down. <clears throat> we, okay. Whatever scientist was 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 featured in Half Life Two was from America. So that means Gordon Freeman, Doctor Eli Vance, Doctor Kleiner, Doctor Breen, Doctor and Doctor um. What was that guy's name? Mm. Magnuson, that's right, Doctor Al Magnuson. Now, now we know that they're from America, cause they all, cause they all work for for Black Mesa. And we have no idea. We really don't know much about Allison's backstory, but we do know about the scientist's backstory. We know Gordon's backstory. Um, but we, but we have no idea what the suit. Um, where all the citizens come from. Oh, and also Judith Mossman. She was from Black Mesa, and also, you know, worked there too. So, <clears throat> so <clears throat> now, you know what? Half Life has an interesting thing to it. Now, City Seventeen. We have we we don't have any backstory on City Seventeen. All we know that. Basically, what was given from us from the game was that it's a Russian is a Russian harbor city turned into City Seventeen, made made it the highest city in all the world. Now, why is this not featured in America? I don't know. That's Valve's thing. Um, I, I was I was kind of shocked when I first saw that sign, that hospital sign, because I know that said hospital, but but I had no idea what that language was. 
So I looked at it, looked at it closely, did some research. Basic Russian. Now, where in Russia is Half Life 2 taking place in? It, it can't be taken up. It has to be somewhere where it's nice and sunny, northerly. Now, we have, we basically have no idea. You know what? You can go look at a map of Russia, and you can probably mark down the po points where Half Life 2 is taking place. Oh, and there also has to be a beach and a coast. So, <clears throat> what else do I have to mention? Now, the citizens. The citizens, we have no idea where they came from. They speak English, but but, but over ninety percent, over ninety nine percent of Russia speaks Russian. And and a, and a tiny one percent speaks any other language. Now English is one of the biggest languages in the world right now, because this is one of the hardest languages ever to learn. For stuff like that, because it's made out of all these custom languages. You know, because when the colonists first came to America, they had to have their main language here, so they chose English, and they made all these new words and stuff like that. They um, basically, our our English comes from Latin, Dutch, and other words. I forgot. So stuff like that. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, and the person who is clearly from Russia and since been living there for his whole entire life is is it's it's father. It's Father Grigori. Now Grigori is Russian. I don't know you what it means in Russian, and you can probably tell because of this funny accent. <laughs> kind of funny, but oh, and the church. You can see, you know, the churches have round tops. Here in America, our main churches, you know, like Catholic, Catholic, and and Christian temples, no churches. We don't have round tops, you know, where the cross is. But in Russia, that's where they are. Man, what is Russia? Okay, what's the deal with Russia and, and all the round tops? I swear to God, every single building in Russia has a has a round top. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's, so that's basically everything that we know about Half Life Two. Now, you know, it's one of those funny things. It's one of those funny video games where the, you know where you dig deeper. You know you you know you get into those Easter eggs. And you have to find out what the heck is all, how how even all this started. Oh, it's clear trying to tell what it is in Half Life Two. Now, now it's another video I made just recently called Five Nights at Freddy's. I know I know that these people still kind of disappointed that I didn't play the video. I didn't play the game, but I don't have a game and I don't have any money. Cause I think I like the only place I can find is like Steam, and it costs like four ninety nine. And and stuff like that. So yeah. So <clears throat> so and and it's also Five Nights at Freddy's. Now that's something that struck me. What the hell is all this about? Why is there a golden version of Freddy? Why, why, why is Foxy out of order? Why, why are these animatronic haunted? Why are they trying to kill me? Well, I'll explain it again. Reason one: Why, why are the animatronic haunted? Because it was all true. A, ser a serial killer was hiding in one of the costumes, and. <clears throat> And lower children into the back room and killing them, stuffing into the into the Freddy suits. Now, that's the reason why they're, they're haunted. If there's a <clears throat> okay, why is Foxy out of order? Well, by the bite of '87. All true. It all happened. You can even look it up. A girl, a girl's. Okay, so I'm gonna start here in my head. So basically, what you see from what you see from here to all the way down here, 
was all shown was all chewed off, and the girl survives. Now, and also missing night guards, they also went missing, and and now here's another reason: why are these animatronics trying to kill you? Why you guys just go have a fun time, go play games, go have pizza? Well, this is the reason why, because the rules at five at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza is that there are no animatronics can be out of their out of their costumes, so they stuff you into one. Now, uh, now, now these are not like the costumes that we as humans put on. You know, you know, you know, you know like the bottom part. You know, that's fine. That's you know, perfectly fine. Just with cloth. Now it's the head. That thing is too small for you, and plus, it's filled with filled with gears and and wires and animatronic parts. And what happens if when they pull down, it goes like this, and your eyes pop out and your teeth also pop out. And that's why, and that's why, when you die, you you get you go to a little cutscene of that of that Freddy Fazbear suit sitting on the table. Now people are saying that. That's Mike. That's Mike Schmidt when he dies. Now, oh, and also Mike Schmidt. Schmidt, he's not real. No, I. I looked. Now, 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 if you guys are wondering, oh my God, this is if this is real. Then, is this happening going on right now? Do we need to? Do we? Do we need to bring this to the to the government of the United States? No, don't worry. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza is closed. Now, if you guys want to go look at the building. You can still see the sign. Um, I forgot the address, but it's, but it's somewhere in Maryland. And I'm patiently just like that. Well, anyway, thank thank you, Bruce Don, for being the fifth subscriber. You know, and I already subscribed to your channel, so please subscribe to my channel for more for more videos every day. And normal scheduling will come back as soon as possible. Okay, good touch, everyone. Six seven, and bye.